Hello there, everybody. It's me, BD from Dark Side. Welcome to the video. Today we are back inside the Moon Lighter. Last time, um, we got the boss all completed. We killed him, and uh, we got a lot of items from him. And uh, I don't know what to do with them, honestly. For sure, to just sell them. We also did upgrade the shop and get ourselves this thing, which gives us 10% more money uh, on the payment. Uh, so right now we get 110%. And right now we get 120%. So we get like if we if we if something costs a thousand we pay uh, they pay a thousand two hundred and we get a hundred extra uh, I mean two hundred extra gold uh, which is pretty nice. <laughs> also uh, last time uh, we made ourselves a new helmet which is pretty nice. Uh, we do need to upgrade our gear, but to do so we're gonna need some of these items which are inside the jungle um, the jungle dungeon which we unlocked last time. Which is pretty nice. We also got another pet. It's an egg yet, so so it hasn't grown. Uh, I can see this pet right here, uh, which is the the wind. Um, the I, I call him the B Bulbasaur because he reminds me of Bulbasaur, the Pokemon. And I think we're unlocking new pets as we go because these three weren't here. A support buddy that can that can use its lightning bolt to transform an enemy dead body into a potion. Oh, that's good. Do, do I have any potions on me? No, I don't. We have 11k gold, which is... I mean, it's its not too bad, but it's still not enough. We need some more money. Uh, this guy right here is closed. We unlocked him last time. Um, he gives us a few items um, from the dungeon, which is not too bad. Uh, do you think I can enchant anything, though? I have one of the swords, but they cost too much, so no thank you. Let's just buy a potion, uh, or make one if we can. We don't have any. You see, do we seriously have none? No, no gel. That's embarrassing. So, would you mind, please? Can I grab a potion? Maybe this one? We still need the normal jelly. Ugh. So, wait. Are we gonna have to go back to the old dungeon to grab these other jellies? Alright, so it just advanced an extra day. And right now it's daytime. So the guy that's, uh, that sells us these items... Um, should be here. Yeah, there he is. And we unlocked him last time. Julian, hello. Mm. Um, do you have... That's that's the Golem dungeon. And he doesn't sell. Ah, uh, that's sad. That's high. Well, I guess I'm not getting what I need. Um, but I'm guessing that I probably need to go back to the old dungeon, which is the Golem dungeon. To be able to um, to grab some more of these red um, red slimes, red jelly, because they don't have any right now, and I don't think the red jellies do exist in the other dungeon, sadly. Basically, in the old dungeon, there used to be like um, like a few spaces, I guess you can call them spaces, where there used to be a few a little bit of greenery all around, and um, that greenery. Uh, was was like like a rift opening between the other dungeon and this dungeon So yeah, that's pretty much it. This dungeon is does exist in the old golem dungeon But it doesn't exist as refined as this this one is way more bigger and um, oh, What the heck you're not even looking at me That watch out so yeah, we need to try and um, uh, Finish this dungeon just grab it all and uh, get to the boss, at least at least to the second floor. Alright, no problem. We already found the boss, I don't mind that. This boss is actually quite easy, we've already fought him before. He, he only has one attack, I'm pretty sure. He has two attacks, I'm pretty sure now. Why is he not stopping? There we go, it takes you a while. Now... Yep, I guess my, my guy's gonna kill him. There we go, good job, little buddy. Good job, see? They're useful. And what's that right there? Saw something. Nothing, alright. Well, I'm gonna keep on exploring this dungeon because I do want to try and grab as much troops as I can. I can go down one dungeon, and I wouldn't mind that. That would be actually very good. But hopefully I'll be, find, I'll be able to find, like, maybe a, a pot somewhere around here. Maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, what is this? Was that an egg? I hope it was an egg, because I do want one of them pets, because he looks quite strong. Also, I don't mind a Pokemon. <laughs> is, it a, is it an egg? Yep, it's a wind tree egg. So he's a wind tree, technically. I'm gonna still call him a Bulbasaur. <laughs> 
more patterns than secrets for those diving so far as the third floor have you ever felt overburdened Cra carrying just too much loot too much treasure but you don't want to stop you just can't stop then have i got something for you hidden somewhere on the third floor between where you start and where you end the end here being the massive creature at the bottom of the dungeon meaning the dungeon's end is is more likely your end but between those two spots one may notice a sparkle a glimmer of something just beyond a bit of infinite darkness if you are brave i ask that you jump it uh, that you jump it see what's down there oh yeah so so right now they're telling us that about the chest which we did find before we did realize this before there is like a chest um, which where you can place your items inside and I'll uh, put them in the chest up up in your house which is very very helpful uh, do you have anything what's that a glove um, well I'll put you here actually because I don't want to lose you um, I'm gonna replace you with the bow uh, what's the difference between the glove and the thing oh wow oh, so he's a charge and it's a melee weapon it's, it's range is probably smaller. Oh, but it's it's it can be it's very fast. It's a very very strong weapon. Its speed is just enormous. Oh god, he's venomous. Oh, that's that's very good. Now thinking about it, because it's fast and reliable, and uh, maybe the range is, sucks a little bit, but who cares? Oh no no, this isn't a good room. Oh my god, am I gonna die? Okay, whatever. I'm going. I'm going back home. I am not gonna stay. I just can't. I'm not gonna die due to poison. Especially with all this loot on me. And I'm pretty sure right here there is a place for the shop when I can upgrade one of my chests for 4,000. Which is very, very good. A comfy bed. Extra health in the morning. I don't know if I want that. And this one gives us an extra 10% tip, which I will also get. And yeah, everything here. I can also buy this. We'll have a 75% discount, but I just don't want I don't want discounts. Or is this in the in the other shops? I'm not sure. I am just not sure. Alright, let's go back to, to our house. And uh, as you can see, this chest is now different. There we go. There we go. Oh, we have two pages. Oh, that's lovely. Um, you're you're empty pretty much. I'll grab all of you, and I'll deposit all of you down here. Thank you very much. Um, crap. Not again. Let's see. There we go. I think I can also empty you because uh, if you didn't know, these chests, the, uh, these two chests right there, are the chests that get affected. Uh, when when going into the dungeon. So when I go into a dungeon and I put stuff inside that shimmery gly uh, uh, glistering thing of the abyss, which is a chest, by the way, it can be a chest. You place items inside and they get teleported into these two chests right here. So if they're full, I won't be able to place them in here anymore. So I need to make sure that they're uh, empty as much as I can. That's why I have to sell them as many items as I can sometimes. Now, now that I'm here, I can actually make at least three of these pots. Or two. Yep, only two, because I'm broke. Yep, let's make them. Yep. Two is just what I need. Okay, no problem. Look at that. It's just so OP, the stun. I, I really don't like that they can hit me all, all the time. That's very annoying. Like right now, I lost so much health. If it's a melee weapon, you have to, uh, you, I have to get used to attacking them at a good time. Because they are in proximity of me, and they can just hit me at any time. What the heck are you? Leave me alone. I already got poisoned. Was that a freaking mimic? That's a freaking mimic. I can't open my inventory to change my weapons either. Oh my god, this was hard. What the heck? Alright, that last dungeon was just hell. And did I, uh... Did I lose my bow? Did I place my bow in here without noticing? I think I did. 
If I did, well, that's a little bit annoying and sad. And if I didn't, then, well, hopefully it's inside a chest somewhere. Ugh. Oh, crap. Not you. Oh, I know how to defeat you. Ow! He has a melee attack. Like, what the hell? And he's too fast to be able to use, like... My god! There has been a recent discovery that will change the game as we know. These curious pendants have been un uh, uncovered inside the dungeons. I just recently found mine one myself. It's quite a fascinating piece. Instead of fainting and losing most of your items in, the uh, in escaping the dungeon, one may actually insert gold into this pendant. The result is a portal transporting you back to the, uh, to the town. No longer must one risk life and limb in these dungeons. Some, uh, son of the more burly adventurers of heroes, or heroes as they uh, like to be called, seem to frown upon the use of these pendants. I mean, yeah. What's the point if you don't get a scar? Am I right? So there is a pendant somewhere inside this dungeon, which um, makes you not lose your items on death. Which honestly, that's very that's very helpful. But the thing is, it it costs gold to use, and God knows how much gold that is. It might be like five thousand gold. Also, it might increase with uh, you know uh, the deeper you go inside the dungeon. Like the other pendant, like like this one increases the more you go inside the dungeon. Aha! Uh -huh, I see. Right here, there's two things here. Uh, that's not a chest though. Oh, uh, these are just items thrown away. Alright, I wonder why these are here, though. Like, th there isn't anything that, that says anything about them. Like, this weird place right here. Weird. Give me these items. Thank you. Let's climb back up. Is that another glove? Oh, wow. The fighter glove. Does 50 damage. That's not too bad. There we go. Open you. Slap all of you inside. Is that pretty much it? We don't need anything else. No. Look, as you can see, all the items get transported back into the chests. Ugh, oh, alright. Feeling a little bit safer now. That's the whole dungeon complete, all explored. I can now go and try and do the boss. Now I'm gonna try and jab him to death. <laughs> with this glove. And hopefully it'll work. How much will this restore? Is it a full restore? I think it's a full restore. Alright, here we go. Oh, so it does stun it. Yeah, it doesn't stun it. It just doesn't stun it. What the heck? I had my shield up, and he still was able to hit me. I don't like this. I'm out. I'm out. I'm just straight up out. Even though this was a golden chest. But I just can't. It's just too hard. This is, is, is very difficult. This is seriously difficult. So, um... I'm done. For today. I, I cannot do anything anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, I tried my best. This is an extremely hard um, level, I guess. And, uh, yeah. Oh, we can just immediately upgrade that thing. That's cool. That's good to know. Do we have this one? Yeah, we do. We can upgrade it, but it takes 44 gold. 44k gold, which is holy crap. Uh, we can also upgrade you. We just need some more items. Uh, big swords. Damn, these look cool, but we don't have any of them. Then we have the gloves. We have both of them, actually. So we can upgrade both. But it takes a lot of gold. 64k. And then they become poisonous. But I think we have to remake everything. Because, you know, I kind of lost the bow. Sadly. Alright. That's that's pretty much it for today. Um, I'm done. I'm, I'm very tired. <laughs> this has been actually very, very hard. I, honestly, this is this is very hard. 
um, even with all the gear and all of that, it's just very, very hard in general. And I'm gonna try and play a little bit offline right now. Um, I won't. I usually I only play when I'm recording, but right now I'm just gonna I'm gonna switch it back to only uh, to, to me playing on uh, offline by myself sometimes. And uh, I'll I'll see how things go uh, on my own. I also sell some items right now, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's episode, everybody. If you liked it, go ahead. And so gently click that like button down below. And also do subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. And um, go down in the description if you want to download this game. There isn't a multiplayer to this game. Honestly, if there was, I would attempt to try and play it with one of my friends or something like that. But sadly, there isn't any multiplayer in it. Um, it would be very, very uh, fun if there was a multiplayer. Uh, but the, uh, I did read uh, stuff about it and the developers said they are not planning to add any multiplayer to this game. Uh, I mean, it kind of does make sense to not add any multiplayer to it, uh, because the story is about just a merchant boy who's trying to, um, uh, you know, run a, run the store by himself and uh, survive. He's the last one of his family. Oh, look at that. We got, um, there's the egg, uh, which we got last time. It's the leaf Bulbasaur guy. Then we got this slime, tiny slime uh, from the Golem dungeon that gives the stun effect to the master's, uh, to, to its master's weapon. So right now this weapon also has a stun effect right here, uh, but it doesn't work, um, and it's also because of this guy. Look at him, very cute, very lovely. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll see you on the next video, and until next time, take care. Goodbye.